Well, Richard Scott, now we are looking at Nicole near yeah. Bermuda. Another hurricane, Lynn. This is a very powerful mm. hurricane, getting stronger, a strong Category 2. It will become a major hurricane tonight. And Bermuda directly in the path of the actual center of of the mm -hmm. hurricane. The eye of the hurricane will likely pass over Bermuda sometime tomorrow. Here's a time lapse of this over the past 30 minutes. The lens gets dark, mm -hmm. obviously there before here, so you notice it getting dark, but already it is looking ominous. The current conditions, we got a wind out of the east at 22. That wind will be approaching 130 tomorrow, so that is very dangerous for the island of Bermuda. What about Nicole? Here is the latest, and again, this is an incredibly symmetric storm. Uh, in fact, from a textbook standpoint, this is about as classic of a hurricane as you'll ever see. A classic clear eye right there. The thunderstorms wrapping around the center of the circulation very clearly. Winds at 110. It's getting stronger now. There's Bermuda right there. And again, notice the eye moving just like that directly towards the island of Bermuda. We'll move over the island as a major hurricane sometime uh, during the mid-afternoon or early afternoon hours tomorrow and we will watch carefully as that hurricane moves towards Bermuda. Fortunately here locally it will not impact our weather. It's heading out to sea after past Bermuda. Current temperature 81 in Tuscaloosa now. Blue skies in place. Wind is calm. It's dry. We need rain and there is no sign of rain on radar or satellite. We're all dry out there. Plenty of sunshine across Alabama. In fact, no clouds uh, being picked up on our satellite imagery across central or west Alabama, and that's bad because we got a drought developing across the state. Notice over west Alabama, we got moderate to severe drought to the north of Demopolis. Now, south of Demopolis, we're not in a drought formally there, and the strongest conditions of drought is really, roughly from Birmingham to Anniston up towards the portion of Cherokee County, towards the Weiss Lake, areas over towards the Rome, Georgia, actually in an exceptional drought across northeast Georgia or northwest Georgia around here. We got a bad drought certainly across the state, and we are way behind in terms of rainfall deaths at over one foot in Anniston. Uh, that's how much rain we have to have to catch us up to the average amount of rain for the year. I notice the forecast model through the next several days, mostly dry here, but notice the model is picking up on a little bit of rain for North Alabama. Don't get too excited. That's not a lot of rain. That's less than a tenth of an inch of rain across North Alabama. That may not even happen. The better chance for any rain Friday into Saturday will happen over the Tennessee Valley. A forecast tonight lows back in the 50s. In fact, mid 50s early as one o'clock in the morning. Expect uh, not as cool as last night. but still feeling pretty nice out there. Current temperatures though low 80s across much of West and Central Alabama. Here's your forecast for the next seven days. We'll stay very consistent in the mid to upper 80s over the next five to seven days. Overnight lows warming up just a bit as well. Notice the uh, temperatures back in the low 60s by Thursday night and Friday night. By the time we go into the weekend, we will be dry. I expect a few showers for far north Alabama uh, Friday into Saturday, but around here I think we will be dry for Interstate 20 points south. And the humidity level is coming up just a little bit, but not a whole lot. Uh, you'll notice an increase in moisture that will keep temperatures at night a little bit warmer.